Welcome to Electron Online, and here we're going to look at a second set of pulleys, a little bit different from the first set. Uh, notice here that in order to hold this weight up, you have to pull upwards here instead of downwards, but yeah, it is a system of pulleys here. And notice the weight is 100 newtons, the question is how much force is required here. Again, you can draw a free body diagram around the weight and the pulley like this. And if you look at it like this, you can see that there's two ropes that are upholding the weight of the, um, the weight below the pulley here, which means that it's being upheld here and it's being upheld here. And then also by the rules of pulleys, that the two ropes on both sides of the same pulley have to have an equal amount of tension since these both have to hold up the 100 newtons and there must be equal in tension. That means you need 50 newtons on this side and 50 newtons on this side. And since that is equal to the force that we're looking for, we can see that this requires 50 newtons of force. Now, how much force is there over here uh, on the ceiling? Um, how much weight is hanging down from the ceiling? Well, that this has to be equal to the amount of weight hanging down from the ceiling. So we have a force of 50 newtons. Interestingly enough, the weight of the object is 100 newtons, but it's only putting a force of 50 newtons on the ceiling because the other 50 newtons is being held up by this force right there. Okay, on the second system, notice here that we can draw a free body diagram around this portion of the pulley system. I know I should have drawn a little bit different so I can have a straight line there, but I didn't. And you can see that in this case, there are two ropes that are holding up the weight of the object here. Again, we're going to assume that the pulley has no mass, no friction, therefore no moment of inertia. Uh, you can see also here that the two strings or ropes on both sides of the same pulley must have equal amount of tension. They both must add up to 100 newtons. That means we have 50 newtons on this side and we have 50 newtons on this side. And we also know that the tension on both sides of the pulley here must be equal. That means that this also has to be 50 newtons, which means the force here is 50 newtons. All right, now how much weight or how much force is, is pulling on the ceiling? Well, you know that this must be equal to the force over here, so it's 50 newtons on here. And over here, notice that this is 50 newtons, that's 50 newtons, so we have 100 newtons pulling down. That means that the ceiling must be pulling back with a force of 100 newtons. So it's 50 newtons there and 100 newtons there. All right, going to the third pulley system, Again, notice that we can have a free body diagram like this, which now means that there are three strings that are holding up the weight of 100 newtons. The string over here, the string over there, and the string over there. Also notice that the force here or the tension here must be equal to the tension there because it's the same string going over this pulley on both sides of the pulley has to be the same. And again, the tension here must be equal to the tension there because this is the same string on both sides of this pulley. So they all have to be the same. They all have to add up to 100 newtons. So therefore, this is 33 newtons over here, 33 newtons over here, and 33 newtons over here, which means that since those two have to add up to the force over there, that means that this must be 66 or maybe round it off to 67 newtons. All right, going to our fourth system right there. Again, we draw a free body diagram. Oh, yep, I forgot my force over here. So uh, this has to be 33 newtons, of course, because it has to be equal to this one right there. All right, so now the force system, let's draw a free body diagram. Let's do that over here. Notice in this case, you also have three strings that are holding up the weight, those three right there. This one is not involved in holding up the weight in this free body, this portion of the free body diagram. Uh, we know that the tension over here must be equal to the tension over there because it's the same string on both sides of the pulley. We also know that this tension must be equal to this tension because they're the two strings on that side of the pulley. So they must all be the same, all add up to 100 newtons. So 33 newtons for each, 33 newtons, 33 newtons, 33 newtons. And you can see that this tension must be the same as this tension right there, so this must also be 33 newtons. And notice that these, this one plus this one plus this one all pull down on the single attachment right there. So if this is 33 newtons and this is 33 newtons, then this must be 67 newtons. And this is 33 and this is 33, so 33 plus 33 plus 67, that would be a total of 133 newtons rounded off to the nearest whole number. All right. Last system right here. Now the free body diagram will have to be drawn like this. 
because all four of those strings are aiding and upholding the weight of the 100 Newton weight at the bottom. So you can see that this is being held up over here, over there, over there, and over there. Notice that the tension of this string must be equal to the tension of this string because they go around this pulley. The tension of this string must equal the tension of this string because it goes around this pulley. And this must be equal to this because it goes around the pulley there. That means all four tensions must be equal. They must add up to 100 Newtons. So we have 25 Newtons here, 25 Newtons there, 25 Newtons here, and 25 Newtons there, which means that the force here is 25 Newtons. Now, how much weight is being held by the ceiling? Notice we have one, two, three times 25 Newtons for a total of 75 Newtons. So you can see that each of them is a little bit different from the next. You can see that the amount of weight being held up by the ceiling depends upon the arrangement of the pulleys. You can also see that in some cases you have to pull up in this way to pull the weight upward, or you can here in this case you pull down, you pull up, you pull down, you pull up. You can see that the amount of weight can also be, the amount of tension in each string can always be found by drawing a free body diagram around the portion of the pulley system that holds up the weight at the bottom of the pulley. And that's how we do that.